welcome to the show I Have Notes, the show where people with surprisingly full IMDb pages discuss all things animation, creative, and caucasity. <laughs> I'm your host, <laughs> Issa Badiola. I always work best with a script, and with me is my wonderful, lovely co-host, Carrie Shawcross. Carrie Shawcross. Thank you. Carrie Shawcross. That's me. We, we, we're in sync on that. I was just, I couldn't get over I couldn't get over the fact that you said fucking caucasity and I'm very excited. Uh, my Caucasian right out of the gate. And uh, my Caucasian no, you, you can't you can't talk yet. I haven't introduced you yet. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't it, it's okay. Oh. Hang on, it's okay. Uh, and with us are two wonderful guests, as as usual. I can't say always anymore, but as usual, Aaron Wynn. Hello. Yay. And joining us, Josh Kazemi. Woo! New guest. Hey. Uh, the the caucasity of talking before you're introduced (laughs) the whites are at it again the the second i saw that online somewhere i was like oh i'm gonna say this eight times a day cool yeah yeah, yeah. it's very good start using it in sentences really put it in your lexicon there carrie yeah i'll uh i'll make it like my uh my new like text tone I'll go find like my whitest friend, and every time they text me, I'll just be like, "Call Cassidy." Call Cassidy. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll be your new nut button now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, you can't. So spoiled it. Well, no, it's spoiled okay. No, I, I, I wasn't going to because I'm afraid of being annoying. But <laughs> oh, it's too late for that. Here's here's what, here's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's July 2020. Okay. There's a new. This is a new carry. Okay. Oh. I got. I oh. went to. A local barber shop that was very safe. <gasps> I got my ears lowered. Who? Oh, oh, he's gonna show. He oh, ears. what's hair? Oh, look at those oh. ears. What? I'm not gonna take the hat off. Uh, not that it's bad. I just like wearing a hat. Uh, <laughs> I got my shelf. Uh, it's a little bare right now. I went by the office and got some stuff. Uh, but the other thing that I got that's very important. <laughs> oh. Wow. oh. And that is the one and only time I will do it. Uh, and uh that's what makes it sweeter is yeah leave them one yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. but you're probably if... thinking like there's gonna be another one at the end of the episode there won't be oh yeah okay. sadly i do not have mine yes <laughs> you need to stop by the office it's really okay, spooky yeah. it's really fucking spooky I I have have i'm ready yeah there's somehow because i got you know we'll get like sometimes you go in on the weekend or something yeah. and it's like so you're like i've seen the office with nobody in it it's different. Oh, it's oh, different. No. I don't know. There's something. <laughs> Ghost town. Yeah. Um, how's how's everybody else weekends and weeks been? Oh, I I had a very good weekend because I didn't do anything. Yeah. And then three day weekend I, baby. Mm. Three day weekend baby. And mm, so I was struck. Uh, so I call Sunday pre Monday now. Um, Fair. And Fair. Uh, <laughs> I spent a good chunk of pre Monday night not sleeping. Because mm. I realized what I had to do um, for the rest of the week and consequently oh, the rest of the month, and I was stressed, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, there it is the the anxiety insomnia." Oh, no. So, like, relatively great week. Kind of ended on like this, like, "Oh, stress sour note." So that that's kind of where I'm at. But mm, also, now- for some reason, if you're on five hours of sleep, you're just as awake as you are if you're on seven or eight. So. Oh yeah, it's weird. Yeah. So I. I want to ask this. Were you, because I've been there, were you sleepy or were you not sleepy and that was frustrating you? Uh, it was the latter. I think it was like I was so wired, um, but mm. also my body was so like ready to just sleep, but mm. my brain was like, no, you're not. <laughs> I... <laughs> I haven't had en- enough yeah. success with this to actually recommend it, but the last time that happened to me, I just said fuck it and worked until like two or three in the morning. Uh, oh, no. mm-hmm. uh, ah, yeah. I do. You that. do that, Josh. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think there is. I read this a while ago. Uh, and last thing I'll say before I try to, I'll, I'll throw it to you guys. I read this a while ago uh, when I was having these bouts of insomnia, and I would like really beat myself up about it. Um, and I would look for like online articles about like, how do I do this? Like, w- what should I do? And there's one that was just like, it's okay. Just forgive yourself for being awake and it's fine. If you want to be awake, then you can be. And I was like, oh, 
Yeah, I guess that's fair. So <laughs> I uh, I found a fanfic last night. I uh, oh, did a yeah. reading. Uh, it was great. Was um, it juicy? It was. Did it satisfying. awaken you more? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in the mood, Carrie. <laughs> um, that's fair. Found, yeah, thank you. I found a fanfic. Um, tweeted some some thoughts, some onions that I was hoping no one would see because it was like 3 a.m. But of course, there there are people who still nope. awake. So. Um, and uh, that was it. That was that was my night, and I was finally able to sleep. Uh, how was everyone else's week? Pretty good. I touched up my hair, so I'm green Ooh. again. You're green again. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. You match our background. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Key out my hair. Um, I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I've actually been growing it out. Like oh. this is like almost my natural hair color, but with like green on top. But mm-hmm. I did touch up the parts that were bleached. Um, so yeah, I think I, I think I still like the green. But man, is it a lot of upkeep. So oh, yeah. the green might be going away soon. <gasps> once it finally grows mm. out. Yeah. Is it is it is it green in particular that's hard? I've never dyed my hair. Like is it green that's no, hard? No, actually upkeep? green is like one of the hardest colors to remove. So oh. even when it was faded, it was still green. It was just like a nasty booger green. Oh great. Um, <laughs> it's mostly just like the bleaching that was like really taxing. Oh okay, and um, okay. got, my hair was getting like real crispy. So oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's chill. I'm so glad we got a three day weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so Josh, good. it's it's kind of custom. Uh, whoever goes last, uh, talking about their week. Yeah, I, we do need to know everything you did last week, uh, hour by hour. <laughs> um, <laughs> and kind of like All a right. thumbs up, thumbs down. Like, was it a good hour, bad hour? I kind of keep everything in my journal. So perfect. Yeah. All right. All uh, right. Mike, just stand his camera for the next forty five minutes. <laughs> right. No. Carrie's gonna go get some An water extra now. long one. <laughs> how uh, how cool. are you? <laughs> I'm good, and I'm. I mean, first and foremost, I'm really happy to be on the show. Thank you for having me. But Aww. and I promise hey, I didn't Josh. plan this. This is just always what's on my desk, and it's three fourths of the color Aww. scheme. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's adorable. That's so I got. Cute. Yeah, I ran out of the green, uh, so I need. I to got more, some but. recently, and I went out of my way to get the like pastel kind of ones that like we normally have. Oh, very oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of sticky notes. Those are really nice. Aww. I've only <laughs> used two so far. Nice. We mm-hmm. we did a recording of a video that we'll talk about at some point uh, where we couldn't swear, so I had this to remind me to not swear. <laughs> nice. Uh, I know what yeah, you're talking about. Funny. Yeah, nice. the bottom of my monitor is just lined with post-it notes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. It's so funny. It look that reminds me of like Maggie's desk at work, mm-hmm. and sometimes oh, yeah. I'd always always <laughs> kind of think about think about all her post-it notes and in my mind i go those have been up there for like months maggie have you actually gone to any of them and she'd be like uh <laughs> yeah and then she'd take down like two and i'd be like oh, okay <laughs> it's mm, okay it's maggie. now they're gonna be there forever oh uh, you know <laughs> <laughs> did you do anything special josh over uh the three-day weekend uh, a whole lot of nothing which nice. is always nice That's very special. Yeah. Um, but one one little great thing that happened was um, so my wife Molly and I have been uh, dabbling with resin for the first time ever. Ooh. Just like mm. decided to like pick up a new a new hobby project thing, um, and we kind of dove head first without without doing the proper research. <laughs> Just like I'm sure we'll figure this out. <laughs> That's the best um, way. So it's been a lot of like trial and error, and we've been like kind of stuck in the same spot of like we can't. We're, we're making dice, and we're like trying to figure out how to make it work and how to make it look cool and we've been stuck in this rut of like almost giving up and then we had like this revelation it was it was really silly because it's a very basic revelation of like instead of hand painting the dice which is what we always wanted to do let's just print out the the symbols that we need and and stick them onto the dice (laughs) and so as soon as we realized that it was like oh now we can finish this project finally been working on it for months (laughs) wow but yeah, have, have you <laughs> thought about trapping a mosquito in something that looks like amber? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, that's of of course. Okay. <laughs> that's the next thing that I want to try to do. <laughs> Describe it as trapping it, not oh, go find a dead mosquito and placing it inside. No. Go trap it inside the resin. And then... You have to have like a yeah. resin bed and then like a little uh, uh, like a blood gummy. 
Yeah. Blood it's like whatever they're gonna <laughs> like. Well, you get like a red gusher, and they'll be like, "Ooh, blood!" And then <laughs> the second they land on it, <laughs> <laughs> like you have to have the gusher yeah. on a string so you can pull it out because nobody wants to see a mosquito and a gusher frozen in amber. Mm-mm. That's nothing. Are, are and then I'm turning with... it into my walking. Game, <laughs> oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> very, very good. So we, I went to a weird place. I was like, "What you need to do is get somebody who has like the COVID antibodies and get their blood in it, so like you can like lead the people into like the next the, the next civilization. And you'll you'll have the antibodies or whatever. I don't know. But it's like trapped a, inside a dice. Well, I mean, right. yeah, it's like, it's, it's like you know, it's like take Jurassic Park and like Book of Eli. And I was gonna say the Last of Us. The Last of Us, and you just kind of like there you go. <laughs> It was a dumb idea, okay? No, it was a great idea. I can have dumb ideas. Don't put this episode out. <laughs> New animated series from, from Carrie, Josh, Issa, and Aaron. It's called... Uh, you heard it here first. You is that blood? <laughs> uh, very, uh, very light novel of you. Yeah. My dice holds the key to the world? Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Um, speaking of very anime... There's an anime that's coming out that I'm very excited about. Whoa, good segue. It's, I, I try. Uh, you know what makes segues even better? <laughs> Pointing them out. <laughs> when you say yeah. that, of course. <laughs> um, How else will we know if they're good? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, there's this game that uh, uh, Squeenix made um, a while ago. I think they actually made it. Um, but it's called uh, The World Ends With You. And it's getting an anime. And I'm very excited. It was uh, for the original uh-huh. DS yeah i think yeah. so yeah uh, this was like 2007 yeah it was it was a like seven or eight yeah it's the stone age I'm, I'm i'm googling it i'm googling it Dude, I was um, saying 2007. don't That's put it they called it a mobile game it was on the ds yeah 2007 yeah july hey. july 26 nice. almost nailed it. almost math years b- behind us um <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was a DS game that got then got like re-released on a bunch of stuff like mobile and I think even Switch now. Um, oh, good because I've never actually played it and I it's, want to. It's very good. I so here's the thing, I have no idea how well it works on a single screen device. It was definitely like made for oh, the DS. It was basically yeah. you would like oh, do moves on the bottom screen and it would happen on the top half of the screen. Yeah. Um, it is hmm. it was a wild way of multitasking because yeah. you really you had to actively train yourself to look at both screens oh, uh, at the same yeah. time. <laughs> just uh, like sideways. Yeah. One for each eye. That could work. That could work. Just like put it real um, close, 3D glasses. Yeah. <laughs> but the the world was really cool, the music was phenomenal. Um, fashion. Yes, Ooh. fashion was like a big part of it. Like you fought with these like different pins that have like different moves to them basically Whoa. so it had this like you know pokemon collect them all kind of aspect to it um mm. i need i don't know where it is i have like the the main pin from the game like i have one from oh, like a press cool. event from like when i went to like pax one year or something um that's pretty dope anyways yeah i'm i'm really excited about it and the idea of yeah an anime one of the things that i was kind of interested in um at least in terms of like how what the reaction would be was that they actually kept the very hard black shadow style from the original game yeah. Oh, yeah, and incorporated that into the anime yeah like thick lines uh thick thighs save lives um thick lines <laughs> and uh really really black shadows um uh which i think was super what's the word i inspirational or uh hmm iconic Iconic, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're so smart, Aaron. I gotcha. uh, <laughs> Iconic for the time, and also felt very mid 2000s. Uh, the more I think about it. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually kind of curious because uh, I might be one of the few people who is a little, what's the word? Uh, Super duper excited. Oh thank no, you. the opposite. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Skeptical. I'm a little wary. If only because I'm like, oh, yeah. this isn't not this. I'm not used to this. I think the style lends itself uh, to a video game thing mm-hmm. as opposed to an animated thing. But I could be. It's true. Wrong. Yeah. It. Uh. It's. It's hard to know. Like. Yeah. Like that style. I. I feel like is is more typical in like cut scenes or something. Yeah. Like, so it's like to to watch that much of it. Um. But yeah, the trailer says the production is uh Do America, X. Uh, Shin A animation. Oh, have uh, they done anything I have, else? I have personally never heard of yeah. either of them. 
Um, but I mean, like they've definitely they've done a good bit of work. So I'm yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm excited. I I, I will say that I mean like east of your point, like I I might be blinded by the property too. Like I uh, mm. I am I'm very excited for the, at least the idea of it. Yeah, I haven't not familiar with the game at all. Um, so I'm excited just because it looks aesthetically very different from many like yeah. current anime. Um, mm. So yeah, I always like anime that like push the boundaries of like the standard yeah. anime look. Mm-hmm. Is yeah, that why? So. Do you think that that might be why you like uh, JoJo's? Probably <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like I like all it? the weird ass anime. Like um, the thick lines reminded me of like Demon Slayer has like really thick angular lines. Yeah. Yes, that was yeah. like super appealing. Um, yeah. Kaiji, which mm-hmm. is like an older anime, like two thousand four, right? Five, six. Yeah. That one's like also super stylized with super thick lines. I think Madhouse did that one. Mm. So I, I, I like okay. a- weird looking anime. <laughs> Aaron's so not spicy. your normal girl. <laughs> normal Nothing anime. Normal I, anime. I, I'm not like other anime girls. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Another reason why I touch with my hair. How will people know that I'm the main character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm definitely excited. Yeah. But I also, the way my brain works lately is, like, if it's not coming out in the next, like, two months, like, I'm not even thinking about it. I'll just, like, that's it'll fair. just be, like, a nice surprise. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best way to go mm-hmm. into things. Yeah. 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 Um, there's another... Anime. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of more anime. Segway. Hey, Aaron, do a segue. Hey, <laughs> speaking of more anime, um, The God of High School, episode one, out on Crunchyroll. Hey. Not sponsored, but we not should sponsored. be. <laughs> um, yeah, I I was excited about this because it's adapted from a webtoon series. Yeah, um, so like a web comic. Um, I believe it's Korean. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah. And Crunchyroll is working on it, and I watched episode one during lunch today, and it was it was fun. I was cool. I, I was excited for nice. it, and then I kind of forgot about it, and then I saw on t- Twitter it was trending. I was like, oh shit, I got gotta watch this right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> now. No spoilers. No spoilers. I mean, it's only episode one. I haven't read the webtoon at all, so I don't know okay. much about it. Is, so. is the god of high school the principal? Or is it like oh the, the local jock, okay, like hometown so hero? My understanding from episode one, the god of high school is the name of a tournament that, I don't know if it's like a worldwide event or just in Korea, mm-hmm. where it takes place. Um, but basically, it's like a tournament anime all the schools are fighting uh to win the tournament and whoever wins gets their wish granted by whoever's running the god of high school tournament that's literally all but i know so far is it only is it only open for people in high school i think so mm-hmm. i would like, think do, so because epi- in episode sense. one yeah, there's yeah. like a bunch <laughs> of older dudes they're like oh man i can't believe we didn't get into the tournament <laughs> what happened and it's like clearly a bunch of older guys so it's like what, what do you think dude do they You're like do 40. they yeah do they know that like i like the idea that i'm sure this is not what it is i like the idea that whatever they wish for only works while they're in high school oh, no. <laughs> and it's like you you know in like 20 years like you're gonna be yeah. like i don't care about that at all oh my gosh uh, oh i thought it was under the yeah, impression like question. once you graduate like your wish gone yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, there's been so many different anime where I would watch my SO watch it, uh, or I would watch my SO, especially it's like the ba- like all the baseball animes that he likes to watch, and I'd be like, why is this thirty year old on a baseball high school team? <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Yeah. Question. I'm glad you uh, understand. Hey, look, steroids are a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just to be competitive, I used to, you know, I didn't. <laughs> look at me. Um, Did we play sports? I I played a sport or two, thank you very much. Uh, but that what sport, was what sport did you play? That was yeah. old carry. It's new, July. It's new carry. We talked about this. <laughs> this carry doesn't do sports. He does intellectual things and jogging <laughs> and uh, basic math. Basic math. Uh, yeah. Math years. Mm-hmm. However, math yeah. years. I did. But I math. did. I did all the sports that. Uh, you didn't have to necessarily be good at. Like I did track, and it's like I'm not. <laughs> you just had to finish. Yeah, there's not like a team right. really. I mean, there is, but there's not. Okay, um, I see. 
and I just did hurdles because mm. no one else is doing them. Oh. So they're just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, wow, that's impressive, Carrie. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say I was good at it. Oh, okay. The- <laughs> I hurt my knee a lot. Um, oh. That's fine. What other sports have we all done? Isa, did you do any sports? Josh? I did tennis in freshman year, and uh, then I quit pretty quickly after that. Uh, no prince mm. of tennis. Mm. Yeah, no, no. I, it no was funny enough. Was funny enough, Prince of Tennis related. And then I was like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell the truth. Uh, At any yeah. point, did you lose to somebody and say, oh, the caucasity? <laughs> uh, I lost to a lot of people. So honestly, it's more so. <laughs> I, I think I was more uh, afraid of them judging me for being an easy, an easy <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that mm, way. That's fair. Yes. Josh, did you play? I think you, or did you play anything? I think you said you did it. The, uh, yeah, the sport I played was the trumpet for seven years. Oh! <laughs> okay, hey, marching band. I'll bet, I'll bet your lungs, though, were like jacked. <laughs> like, if we could, like. Maybe. It's been a really long time. You, like, zoom in, <laughs> zoom in, like, past your chest, x ray, see your lungs, muscles. <laughs> like they're so fucking strong oh God. yeah <laughs> hey guys i'm here to talk to you about hbo max's new show coming out on july 9th called close enough it is from the creative regular show jg quintel about a dysfunctional family of a married couple their five-year-old daughter and their two divorced roommates all living together in la best describe it as a surreal animated comedy uh there's a healthy dose of absurdist comedy and um, stripper clowns and a talking dog that, that, that fits the bill, one would say. Um, fans who have watched regular show growing up are now in that great age range where they can really relate to the stuff that J.G. Quintel is hitting on in the show. It's kind of about a being an adult and coming to terms with what that means. It's about that time. <laughs> it's what your 30s are all about. The entire season is dropping on premiere day, July 9th, so you can binge all of the episodes at once. Watch Close Enough, premiering on July 9th on HBO Max. Also, I feel like (laughs) band kids, oh man, they have some, like, endurance in, like, the mental power. Like, I don't know about y'all, but, like, at my school, (laughs) they always had to get up at, like, 5 a.m. and march on the football field for like hours practicing even before school even started and my school is on it was in the fucking parking lot it was a tarmac whoa yeah oh Oh, man so you know my my school was not even that cool like i went to a teeny (laughs) tiny private school we didn't have a football team so we didn't have a marching band we were just a concert okay i was about to say yeah what were you celebrating real easy Dylan got an A in math. <laughs> Let's sing for him. I would have done a lot better at school if that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody needs positive encouragement. Yeah. What what uh what town was it in? <laughs> it was in San Francisco. Okay, oh. so it wasn't like scorching hot. No. Okay. No, it wasn't. Yeah, football's a big thing no. in South Texas where I grew yep. up. So yeah. 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 Don't know why personally but that's yeah. okay that's why in the opening spiel we don't mention sports <laughs> no. only how much we've been staying in so yeah, yeah. we'll talk about sports but it's a sport anime yeah. yes exactly we live vicariously through other exactly. people playing sports. the only sport i go mad for in march is blitzball Nice. Hey. 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 hey for real though like if i could ever make like a blitzball anime like i uh... <gasps> Sque- I know I called you Squeenix earlier, Squeenix. If you're Hello? listening, Mr. Squeenix. <laughs> no, they're no, they're listening. Chakras. We have, we have to say Square Enix now. Oh, sorry. Hello, oh, yeah, Mr. That's right. Square Enix. Mr. Uh, Enix. Mr. Yeah. Enix. <laughs> For saying Square. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to be respectful, Mr. Enix. Okay, yeah, Mr. Sorry. Enix. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it. Uh, I I didn't I didn't take the name that you trademark Square. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of segues, <laughs> I think do we do we want to maybe talk about uh, Josh besides being just a lovely person? Why you're on this episode in particular, and uh, and uh, just let you and he said you know just Aaron and I are just gonna chill for a second. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> you guys, if you guys want to just get a water. <laughs> yeah. 
like, I'm gonna do some stretches <laughs> off camera. Yeah, right there now. it is. There it is. Hi. My shorts are like hiked up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it now. Uh, Josh is my co writer and co developer for Recorded by RSL. Snap, 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 snap. I can't snap. <laughs> oh no, what? Aaron, the call cast. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Josh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I was joking. We can talk too. <laughs> do y'all, do y'all... Go, go back to the floor, please. <laughs> do you, do yeah, you, yeah, do please. You... It's too much pressure. Do you want to talk about maybe like, I, I guess like one one thing that's interesting for me is like yeah like Issa like how you kind of started with the idea and like started working at Josh like talking about like collaborating with people I think is like an interesting thing because I think there's a lot of people that have ideas but then don't know exactly like how to bring other people in or when to bring other people in or to like to like what level that's kind of like always mm-hmm. like a I don't think there's like a right answer but hearing more examples is good. Um. The fun thing for me was I think I kind of just brought people in and sometimes not necessarily with permission. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Um, so Creative. not saying I should be the uh, uh, ide- I- I- uh, ideal, but also um, uh, Bernie, fun fact, introduced Josh and me, mm-hmm. to, or mm-hmm. introduced Josh to me. And it was because Josh had a pitch that was very similar to recorded by RSL. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So he mm-hmm. only kind of like cosmetically. Yes, I mean, that's the, true. the only similarity really was that mine mine was a live action series, and it was yes. a female protagonist that was a vlogger. But that's literally where the similarities ended. And it was called recorded by Carazal. <laughs> Recorded by Kazemi. Kazemi. <laughs> by Jarzal. <laughs> um, hey, I'm Arzal. So, this yeah. is my friend, Jarzal. <laughs> Jarzal. <laughs> uh, so uh, that was that was interesting in that um, uh, one of my favorite things about Josh, he is arguably favorite Josh. Um, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow I know, other joshes I, on notice <laughs> uh yes <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it now guys <laughs> uh one of my favorite things about josh is uh actually he was one of the few people i collaborated with that um was what's the word uh he was very proactive um mm. uh josh impressed me hit by he gave me a um a spec script as we were talking about ideas and stuff and Josh was also one of the few people who actually asked me when we started uh, working together, oh, um, do we have any action items? And I was like, oh, he wants to take action. <laughs> so <laughs> that we was like it. I mean, yeah. likey. <laughs> uh, that was a huge relief because as, um, as everyone at this point in this room right now actually has a director title in some capacity. And uh, as someone who has worked as a director to leave for a long time, someone actually going like, oh, well, uh, what should we do? Instead of me having to direct him to do it was like, oh, right, yeah. oh, fuck, this is amazing. <laughs> it's, it, it can be really nice, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, it's funny, it's funny though, because I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily like recommend exactly what I did in terms of recorded by RSL. Because you, you had, that's true. You that's true. pitched me the show, and then I like unsolicited, like sent you a spec script, <laughs> which is not necessarily the best way to go about it. But Valid. I was just like, I have her voice in my head. I have to know if it's right. And so I sent it to you anyway. <laughs> hey, I mean, y'all, y'all are here right now, and the yeah, show's you made coming it work. out. <laughs> you know next week so yeah what, whatever happened i mean like it happened and, oh yes yeah. it's next week i i typed <gasps> that in a slack uh with uh josh and our lead animator tanya and in parentheses they went holy shit <laughs> it's coming <laughs> it's coming oh god <laughs> but yeah that's like just... the one thing i liked about working from home is that i can't see what y'all are working on as easily because <laughs> before at the office yeah. i could just like walk by Issa's best and see whatever Yes, um, it's true. But now it's yeah. like, oh, I have no idea what y'all are doing. So now I can like watch it as a fan. Which I'm, I'm same for. boat. I'm very excited. Like I, oh yay! I, I you know I've seen bits yay. and pieces, bits and pieces, but like I I haven't actually gotten to see it yet. So I'm gonna be there Saturday morning too, or Monday morning, just like. Morning, yeah. 
Monday morning so party. Yeah. <laughs> take you. Take yeah. You, take you. Um, Josh, I would like to ask you, like, I guess, a uh, uh, fun fact of doing vlogs. So I also asked him this as well. So it might be a repeat, but it's new for everyone else. <laughs> Double. Um, uh, what? I guess what kind of went through your head when you first thought uh, when you first heard my pitch about the series? I liked that it was going to have to be uh, so character driven and character focused. Like mm. there's no escaping mm-hmm. that when it's a vlog series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so the idea of trying to like sculpt a character that would be that interesting and funny and motivating to like draw people's attention. That was like, what seemed so exciting the challenge of like we have to make this character good enough to carry a show basically on her own especially for this prelude series Mm -hmm. so that was like a creative challenge like that like that kind of a creative challenge paired with like getting to work with like someone like you i was like i have to i have to do this (laughs) like this is i can't pass (laughs) this up i have to do whatever i can do to like be be a part of this show (laughs) Thanks, Josh. <laughs> was this was this I'm, this is going way back? But was this in the part of the development, Issa, where uh, the show was just going to be uh, ours all reviewing different products uh, and <laughs> reviewing them on a on a scale of uh, one to two? Which I, I'm glad you got rid of that part because that that I I did that part didn't make sense. I'm going to be honest. Hey, my pitch. <laughs> Was originally it was called Recorder by Arizal and Recorder it was five minutes of her playing the recorder, very poorly. <laughs> Someday my vision will come to life. But this not is today. officially Rooster Teeth property, so um, yeah. all any and all ideas <laughs> you guys yeah. will be credited. Our Rooster Teeth right. on it right now, copyrighting everything. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, I just realized something. Y'all have the bet, like you know, something terrible happens, the power goes out, whatever, and the episode's not going to come out on time. All you have to do, you have the easiest thing. All you have to do is you start this and go, oh, oh wait, did I just hit record? Ah, shucks. And that's it. <laughs> that's the entire episode. She hit, she hit record at the end instead. Oh, no. <laughs> I just imagine her, like, leaving the lens cap on by acting the whole time. Oh, that's great. It's audio on only. Screen and audio. Yeah. And okay, she's, like, we're, she's we're specifically like, you know, and when I make this gesture, no one listens to me. And it's like, what is she talking? What is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we're taking notes right josh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean that's an easy episode yeah. Yeah. i'll do it <laughs> <laughs> how did yeah. I, i'm curious because i just like it's always interesting to like talk to other people who, like who collaborate together like how do you i always have this thing where like people will you know they'll like they'll mention like an idea they have or they'll you know they'll say like oh i'm working on this thing and maybe tell me a little about it and there's a lot of times where i'll say like oh yeah that sounds really cool like let me know if you want to talk more about it like i'm super happy to is do y'all have a good like do y'all have a good sense of like when is it because i also don't want to be pushy or assume Mm. that they would want Mm. to talk to me about it more but i also don't like i'm like trying to like give them the invitation let them do with it but like isa like what you're talking about where it's like should people be pushy and be like hey no, no no i really like that thing let's talk about that thing you know, like, is there, like, a middle ground? Or, like, how how do you navigate that? Do any of that make sense? Also. I just, like, I just, I don't like being a bother. Right. Carrie, you're never a bother. Yeah. I appreciate it. I don't know. I. It's true, you're not. Oh, I think but I you understand go. your feelings. Now go talk to that person. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh... It seems like it's it's better to just like err on the side of like letting people know they're in- you're interested. It really is, at least in my experience, it really kind of just comes down to whether or not the the person that you, hmm, the person, right? oh, man, it, I'm like trying to it's put tough, words yeah. into it because it's like I'm. It definitely depends on the person because I think I'm also the type of person who, if you offered me that, I would actually be like, ooh, cool, thanks. And then I'll like file it away to be like, okay, if there's this thing that happens, I know that I have Carrie on my side and I'll ask him. And that that won't stop me. It's just sometimes at the moment, um, I won't ask you, I might ask someone else and then I can mm-hmm. get my answer there. Um, so I guess that's my secret. I have many collaborators. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Yeah, this is definitely, and this is definitely not like, 
I'm definitely not saying like, oh, why didn't you ever reach out to me about Record by Resolve? Yeah, definitely. Oh, like I'm really hurt by it. <laughs> uh, and I think about it a lot. No, but just, yeah, I like in general, it's like, yeah, it's tough because like I like, I just, I maybe I'm also just like socially terrible too, but like I just never know like what is the good balance between being interested and being annoying. <laughs> but that's kind of life, I guess, huh? Yeah, man, really is. social balance. You know. Mm-hmm. You got to find somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Um. I think for me, my, with Josh anyway, um, it was, it was nice from my experience because once I got Josh on board, my first thought was, got him. (laughs) (laughs) Here's, this is Josh. He's, he has agreed to be my soundboard (laughs) 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 and also vice versa. So, um, I end up. I end up leaning more on Josh just by virtue of we're working partners now. Now, uh, mm-hmm. so I feel like Carrie. My first thought is that kind of reminds me of how maybe like you and Miles had first started out on Ruby. Sure, I can see that. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, that was. Yeah. I mean, I mean, really, that, that was like Monty and I too. Of like, that's true. One day he he told me about a thing. I was like, yes, and, and you know, it, yeah, it's definitely it was easier back then too because I could just like stop by his desk all the time and be like, more. <laughs> tell me more yeah what else yeah, i mean yeah we, we did reach that point where we're like okay we're gonna need more help yeah. miles what are you doing <laughs> um Come but here. i mean yeah he, he was super interested in it too so it, like it was like I, I guess it's like maybe if there's like a moral to this it's like let people know just be honest and let people know that you're mm-hmm. interested because mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what's the worst they're gonna say is like no or like not talk to you yeah. about it but if you don't yeah. if you don't let them know mm-hmm then how will they know to ask yeah yeah mm, so Aaron and josh i did want to like i guess like throw that question out to you if only because uh my perception of both of you is that Aaron, i think uh for you Aaron, you collaborate with a lot of different people but yes. as an artist or illustrator i think you do tend to kind of just work on your own um as opposed to my perception which is i'm in a room with josh mm-hmm. and we're or even like the way that writer's room works where uh, with writing Ruby, for example, Carrie, um, as opposed to like us kind of like throwing out ideas and then we're kind of committing or being like, I don't know, I don't like that. Um, mm-hmm. uh, what is the level of collaboration there for you, Erin? Yeah, I mean, I, there's still a good amount of collaboration. It's not like yeah. the artists are allowed to be completely independent or anything. Like, um, I mean, as speaking as like a concept artist and not so much as an art director um like i'm still we're still going to carry or any of the directors and be like hey what did you have in mind for this character or the set etc cetera, etc cetera. um and most of the time like they've been pretty open um like if to like hear new ideas um if we have any most um, of the time most of the time, <laughs> yeah i mean hey it never hurts to try <laughs> Except, no i 100 percent agree yeah i mean so, yeah, there's been, like, plenty of times, like, we'll pitch something that you probably hadn't even, like, mentioned. Or, mm-hmm. like, you only gave us, like, the bare bones of, like, a character. And we're like, we're gonna, I'm gonna try A, B, and C as options, and maybe Carrie will like some of them. Um, I usually so, do. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> it, it, we, we still work with um, other other departments. Like, uh, as concert artists, we'll work pretty closely with, like, the modeling department, the rigging department. Uh, even like comp, um, especially when it comes to like mats and mat placement. Mm. So I mean, even you know animation. We we animation, literally had a meeting yeah. today about something that affected like animation and like yeah. art oh. and like how they were going to work together and testing and all that kind of stuff. So mm-hmm. yeah, I think like the the biggest difference maybe is is a little bit of like, and again this is me like uh, not knowing exactly how y'all work together uh, when mm-hmm. you're writing uh, um, RBA, but like like active collaboration versus like iterative collaboration yeah oh if that makes sense so it's like like yeah aaron like you're talking about like it's a little bit more iterative iterative collaboration where it's like Mm -hmm. y'all will do a pass on it you look at it and then it goes you know to the directors and then cool here i've done this entire pass Mm -hmm. let's talk about this versus like i mean like yeah Mm -hmm. back in the day with like early ruby writing it was literally miles and i staring at the keyboard and one of us would like write a line and they'd be like well, what about more like that? It's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. it's very, like, as you're going to create the mm-hmm. first pass, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, 
and even like as art director now i still i try not to hover over my artists too much like i don't want to be like their mom and be like you have to do it a b c d you have to do it this way and this, that way yeah um i definitely it's... like giving them creative freedom when possible um because it definitely like gives the opportunity to bring up new ideas like that might have not been explored otherwise mm-hmm. so but there is definitely like um directions being given to them and i'll give them feedback in that way but it's not rarely do we ever like sit around and be like oh what if we did this and this thing and oh yeah. maybe i think we should change this a little bit um yeah so it's a little bit more independent that way kind of like how carrie said there's like different steps i guess yeah yeah i think it's just different mm-hmm. different mediums take kind of yeah. different or different especially you know like collaboration yeah mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. I, I also mentioned Josh in my previous question fully because I think Josh, my perception of you, yeah. especially from our first impression, was I was, uh, I was thinking, oh, Josh is a writer, um, and I only ever interacted with you solo. <laughs> mm. So <laughs> yeah. um, I knew you had friends in death battle. <laughs> 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 but also I, I never really like fully um, was in a group with you guys. So I'm actually kind of curious as yeah. to like, hmm, uh, what, how do you were, you are one of the newer, um, out, out of everyone in this, uh, group, you came into Rooster Teeth, uh, much later than we did. So mm-hmm. I was, I'm actually kind of mm-hmm. curious as to what your experience was like, uh, kind of cu- in- going into, uh, and we talked about your, uh, personal or your previous stuff in private before, but like going from like a solo editor into being in this kind of environment yeah oh my gosh i love it so much (laughs) because i i freelanced for many years and uh, basically what became sort of like my bread and butter was i would take on productions that were small enough that i could just do by myself it's like to keep my overhead low Mm -hmm. and like um you know that's how i that's how i made money for years in austin like doing small productions and it was great and it was a good like learning experience and thankfully I, I could I could do it for many years and, and get by. But um, man, that is so just not why I wanted to be a filmmaker. Like inherently uh, mm-hmm. this medium is so collaborative and that's like why I like it so much because I want to be able to like write something and then hand it off and have someone make it cooler and better and like get other people's eyes on it and improve and stuff. And it's like what I've enjoyed working with you so much is that like, I think you and I aren't afraid of notes and like of of getting feedback <laughs> that's like, you know, that, that to to change it to make it better. And so there's really like when you and I are in a room and we're talking about like big picture stuff, it's like there are no bad ideas and I'll throw a bad idea out just so that you can like make it a better one. And that's, mm-hmm. you know, a step forward. So no, I love working with all the people at Rooster Teeth and it's been so fun like i i've been i've been working for a long time but it hasn't felt like filmmaking until i got here oh Oh. that's an interesting that's an interesting point things are definitely weird right now but um you know some things are still true uh we get hungry we get tired uh and sometimes we just don't have time and that's where postmates comes in uh i the amount of times that i've gone oh crap i don't have you know, something for dinner, uh, you know, I can't really go to the grocery store right now because, you know, that is kind of a thing now. Um, and they've come through. I've been able to get uh, great food from local restaurants, from chains. Um, I've even been able to get, you know, energy drinks from, uh, you know, Walgreens or just corner stores. Uh, you know, a lot of different variety, a lot of different ways to just kind of keep you going. Um, and the best part is you don't have to interact with anybody. Uh, you know, I'm socially anxious, so that's great on its own, but, uh, for safety reasons too, they just leave it at your door. No one has to talk to anybody. Um, and that just makes it safer. So, um, happy to say, I want to get this right for a limited time. Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit on your first seven days. Um, to start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code. I have notes. Um, it's code. I have notes for $100. That's a lot. Uh, free delivery credit for your first seven days. When you download the Postmates app. Um, you can find that on iOS, Android, um, whatever, whatever you're feeling. Uh, mainly those two. Uh, anything you need, anytime you need it, post made it. We uh, <laughs> back when I did more stuff in live action. Uh, there was this one time we were trying to like work on like a, sh- a short for a script. And I just remember uh, Brandon, Marshall, Chris, and I went to lunch somewhere, and on the way there, we were like, 
we were driving there and somebody was like somebody somebody had said like there's no bad ideas or somebody was about to bring like this might be a bad idea but we just said hey this is the no bad idea car <laughs> in this car no bad ideas oh my god so like every once in a while i'll think about that it's like okay no bad idea car what about this <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of in high school i had a math teacher my senior year you know how teachers are always like there's no such thing as a dumb question oh, i straight up had a math teacher that told some kid like you know how teachers always say there's no such thing as a dumb question well that was a dumb question i was like oh, <laughs> oh holy shit 911 oh. that is wow. fucking murder a teacher <laughs> killed Damn. a kid oh my gosh that, brutal. that like, kid what happened <laughs> That oh, kid's man. dead I... now. Oh, no. I, was, <laughs> I, I said, that kid is probably still going to therapy for that. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. No, not this kid. Wait, I like I like this idea of your car. It's a yeah. good car. We always, um, mm-hmm. this is like a, a really dumb thing that we started doing like it, a long no time ago. No thing. It's true, yeah. <laughs> well, no, this is arguably dumb, but we would always, uh, like, the way that we would, like, because it is hard. It is hard to say hey, we're brainstorming, and I know we said there are no bad ideas, but I'm not sure if this is actually a good idea or not. Yeah. Um, so we started doing this thing a long time ago in the writer's room where uh, we say this, not this. Oh, so yeah, like, that's oh, right. yes. Oh, yeah. That's so like basically the idea is like, okay, here's my idea. To describe it, I'm not like, I can't tell you exactly what it would be. Like, I don't know exactly how we would do it, but it'd be this, not this. The character does X and then Y. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, like, it, it, like, it's definitely, let's not do that. But it gets the idea, oh, it would invoke this response or it would get you to this point and kind of gives you like a jumping off point for usually somebody to then say the smarter version of that. Um, <laughs> but like, it's anything you can do to just soften, like, it's really vulnerable to like, mm-hmm. especially uh, like, yeah. I, I don't know, like, yeah. you know, again, exactly how y'all worked, but like coming up with a new world and like being like, do, I mean, like, I, I'm sure y'all went through like, do they have phones? Do they, is there, is recording storage a thing that they have to think about? Yeah. You know, like where does food come yeah. from for them? You know, like all that stuff <laughs> you have to decide and it's, it's, it can be really daunting and you know, it, it, uh, anything you can do to kind of like soften that and just, but it's, it's always good when you do find, it sounds like you have like a partner or partners that you can be like, hey, it's fine. Just say if it's a bad idea. I'll just tell you it's a bad idea. And it's like, we just mm. move on, you know? There, it is definitely, uh, intent is definitely there. I remember one of our first development meetings for talking about recorded by RSL when it was everyone uh, all together. Um, the biggest question for everything came kind of from like, hey, so does she know that, like, is she editing the videos afterward kind of a thing? <laughs> right. And uh, that was, uh, I think Josh and I were like, we don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah let's let's just not i don't want to answer that let's just say it's kind of just movie magic um uh but it was funny because i remember austin hardwick really really like nailed hammered into the thought process behind um behind that idea and then i don't know why i'm talking about this but it was just so striking to me that he did his thing where he rambled for a bit and then i had to look at him and tell him austin we're not going to do that and he goes Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Austin. Oh, Austin Hardway. I, love I miss him. that guy. Me too. I miss that guy. It's, <laughs> yeah, he, he is. He's, uh, he, yeah, he's very, like, he either, like, is like, oh, that doesn't matter. It's like, like, it's exactly what you talk about. Like, oh, who's editing it? That doesn't matter. Or this is the most important aspect of <laughs> yeah. this show. And we have to nail it down right now. Because if it doesn't make sense, then none of this makes sense. It's like, well, okay. Yes. But I, I mean, it's good to be passionate, though. Like, I, I think it's a it's a plus. But yeah. it's also, I think, a plus, you know, the way that probably shook out was like, you're like, no, I think we're good. And he's like, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, <laughs> like, oh, he was okay, up sure. <laughs> And he was just like, oh, 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 OK. And he kind of like realized. Yeah. It's just it was just one of those things where it's like, oh, you know what? I just I just want to see him like ride this wave. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's what he's he's a problem solver. So it's like if you're like, that's should true, should true. they should she be editing it? What is it? He's like, we're gonna figure this out. No, and no. it's like, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. But that that is one of the reasons why um collaborating with Austin was always very fun as well mm. because he really made you feel like a a good idea was a good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I sometimes you really need important. those like cheerleaders. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah whenever we're like in writers like any anything really like any reviews like art anything like i think it's like it's I, I know this is something that like i've struggled with before and i think you know other directors have too is like you get into review and it's like cool we have an hour to try and get through everything that we need to so that the team can keep moving and it's really i think easy to just get lost in the like what are the things that need to change because you're trying to go fast and yeah. you're trying to say like you know you're trying to be efficient not fast but efficient and 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 make sure you're clear but you you have to stop and say like hey i also know you're a human that was a good idea and like you should hear that um and not just focus on the like what needs to change um, yeah yeah mm, yeah mm-hmm. like i i always think about the fact that like when i like when i one of the, one of, like the worst things for me because i have terrible anxiety is like when i uh like send a script to somebody and I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, just if you could check this out when you get a second. And I'm just, like, staring at Slack, waiting for the oh, is no. typing. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it was, like, a 15-page script. That should take him, like, 20 minutes. Okay, 20 oh, minutes from now. Oh, okay. okay, 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 okay. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but, uh, it, you know, it's, like, I feel like everybody's response is, like, you want to hear, oh, that was awesome. So, like, anything yeah. that's not that, it's, like, is that bad? What does that mean? So I don't know. I just, sorry. That was a long uh, winded way of saying, I agree that it's important to support the positives. Yeah. I definitely had (laughs) a lot of professors in college that were like, when when you're giving critiques, like make sure you say something nice. If you're going to say something like negative or provide constructive criticism. So Mm -hmm. it definitely helps to soften the blow. But I think, I think most Mm -hmm. people have good intentions whenever they're critiquing your work. I don't think Mm -hmm. anybody's ever going to be like, Oh well, I don't like Carrie, so I think this kind of sucks. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean like, that's fair. Double checking your scripts. Um, so I, that's how I kind of deal with like any feedback or criticism, like mm-hmm. especially within the the department or whatever. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, they're trying to help me or my work be the best that it can be. So I think I think that don't softens. don't take it too personally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like all right, no, I'm, true, no offense true. taken, that kind of thing. Yeah. That does. Mm-hmm. Ha- gonna throw it to josh again as well that does make me curious as to like i i feel like because this is the first um idea or my first show um so first show thank you first show first like new world that i've <laughs> kind of just like uh i guess like got out of my head and um i i'm curious josh it, how that process was for you as well and if you kind of like figured out <laughs> that I was very new at this or if there was anything about that whole process because I felt like it was the first time where I had that kind of level of control over like uh I don't know I don't really like that idea and actually that Mm -hmm. having weight so um I don't know how did you feel about that whole thing it was great because I think I, I think there were plenty of things that you really had strong vision for um, and it probably like I'm trying to think like I think the thing you had the strongest vision for was how you wanted it to feel which is an interesting thing to like mm. direct and steer the ship towards is like a feeling and a tone mm-hmm. um, so it just meant we had to have a lot more conversations which was totally fine and very fun um, but what's great is that you didn't really hold anything else it's too tightly and I think that's important like some people get so attached to a specific thing that they kind of lose sight of the bigger picture But because you were always focused on like the look or the feel and the tone, it was like you were always thinking about the bigger picture, which meant that you and I like on this smaller level could like build the pieces to get there, if that makes sense, as opposed to like you kind Mm -hmm. of, I don't know. I just imagine it could be, it would have been so much harder if you were like, no, this is how it has to be. um, And and we're sticking Mm -hmm. to tiny details. Like it really it really felt like you uh, like invited me in to help you build something as opposed to like i've already built something and you're gonna make it better but i'm gonna like tie your hands behind your back while you do it mm-hmm. <laughs> i've, I've uh, i'm 30 pages into the 32nd page of this ikea <laughs> instruction booklet uh i would like you to uh put the drawers in that i've already built yeah <laughs> <laughs> versus like hey here's some wood and some screws and let's just we'll figure it out yeah, yeah. crack yeah. some bruise oh, some brewskies <laughs> uh, guys we invited josh uh on the podcast to compliment me and me only <laughs> right. Wait, can we compliment you though oh Issa, i love your background and your oh, your you. face that's my job <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking lie. <laughs> this is like, what have I done? Compliments are hurt, painful. Oh, thank you. Uh, reminds me um i think kaden kind of mentioned this on our twitter a couple weeks back mm-hmm. um talking about uh accepting compliments from each other or like from oh, i yeah. saw this yes uh, and my advice was like um just like accept it <laughs> like it makes <laughs> yeah. you it makes yeah. you feel better but also like you, you don't want to be like oh thanks for the compliment but bleh, like that always like if I'm complimenting somebody and they say something like that to me, it always makes me feel like shitty. It's like, oh, okay. Mm. Um, uh, thanks. So uh, <laughs> I always like accepting compliments. That's just a, a fun little mm-hmm. um, it, life advice. It's almost <laughs> like a. It's almost like an acquired taste. Ah. Uh, like yeah. it's gonna mm. feel really uncomfortable, at first. But if yeah. you if you could just force yourself to just say, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Like that's like, it. Thanks, you don't, I do, appreciate like, it. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah. you have to tell yourself like, I'm not gonna say anything besides thank you. I appreciate it. That's it. <laughs> Nothing more. And if you just can do that for like yeah. five times, it's like it starts to be like, yeah, thanks. You know, like you, yeah. it's you do start to feel it. Uh, um, I, uh, I think you're deserving of all the compliments and praise, and I'm very excited for your show. Thank. you. Yeah. See, okay, here you go. You did it. I did it. Isa, I, full screen. Isa, oh, full oh screen. Isa. Hi, hi. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny with you mentioning uh, how you say thanks, Aaron, because I, I actually distinctly remember uh, every time I would compliment you, you'd just smile and go, thanks. And I just, for some reason, it's just always in my head. I'm like, oh, yes. thanks. this is just. Uh, a, a video clip that's playing over and over in my head yeah. of Aaron just smiling and saying thanks and I'm, I'm like living oh. in your head rent free Aaron, yes hey. I love Aaron <laughs> PMA positive mental attitude oh oh that's true yeah. that we love to see it we love to see it <laughs> Joe Joe Clary started like doing that like that's a big thing for him and like I started like thinking about it more as like that's why the new July Carey is like ooh. July Carey He's July twenty twenty. Carry, carry two point. Carry, uh, carry two point five. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just like, let's be positive, y'all. Hell yeah. Let's let's just be nice yeah. to ourselves for fucking once, you know. Yeah, I think, I think we all deserve it. Yeah. In these trying times. We're all just trying to be trying to be our best selves, and you know what? You can't. You can't be. Hmm. You can't be the best if you weren't the worst at something. No. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, you, you know, you can't get better if you didn't, if Try. you weren't shit at the beginning. So, <laughs> you know, getting better just means that you started bad, but now you're good. That's actually yeah, going to be our first but, t-shirt. Uh, it's all of that. You all started of that. bad, but now like you're that. good. Wait, I love that one. There you go. Speaking of t-shirts. BT oh, dubs, guys. Segway. Whoa. Segway shirt. <laughs> Segway shirt. <laughs> we have a uh, new select all shirt. Um, this is the brand, <laughs> quote unquote, that we are going under Ooh. Um, Ooh. for uh, the department. And look, we have for, uh, God, sorry, words. Uh, it's One is pink and the other one is pride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The pink uh, one could so. be pride if you're proud of pink. It's true. It's true. It works either it's way. True. But yeah, I, mm-hmm. I believe, please, please, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but this, like, uh, Select All is kind of like the uh, all encompassing, like, live action animation stuff yes. that we do. Um, yes. Yeah. Live action animation. That's pretty, yeah. that's a, it's that's a, a mouthful. All of, our, uh, all of our stuff is rotoscoped now. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, an oxymoron. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, everything, um, select all kind of features, everyone who works in the animation department as well. So you will be continuing to support us if you support select all, mm-hmm. um, we got for now hot... pretend that it's the, I have notes shirt and just buy it. Oh yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> buy it, buy the select all shirt, tape, I have notes onto it and send me a picture <laughs> on Twitter. Do it. Oh, do it. I dare I... you here. <laughs> wow. I dare you. Yeah, get people in. <laughs> What store.roosterteeth.com. Yeah. Hit, Slash hit I have up. notes. That doesn't, it doesn't take you anywhere, but. <laughs> 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 I 
Okay, um, it doesn't, doesn't hurt to type yet. it. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> Uh-uh. Speaking of other um, live action, laugh animation productions, carries on one called Talk True Me to Me. Oh, yeah. This will, uh, when this airs, uh, we will officially wrap season w- season one because it's technically the first season. I don't know if we'll ever do more, but of uh, Talk True <laughs> Me to Me, which is uh, our, uh, our behind the scenes look into uh, Ruby and how it's made that uh, I've been basically, you know, bringing on different members of the animation department specifically on Kruby and uh, yeah. talking about the process. Uh, this week's episode is about writing. Cause I knew that uh, if, if once we put the writers on the episode, everybody would stop watching. Um, <laughs> so I had to put them at the end. Um, I, bo- I bookended it with directors and writers. Um, so I've just like these are just the cold hard facts, this, Issa. Yeah. You're so I, smart, I, Carrie. It's I know so what you want for me. I'm not going to lie to anybody. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was really it's it was a it was a really fun show to I just love our crew a lot and uh, yeah. we love you getting no thank you getting a uh, thank you I appreciate it oh, there you go. Uh, oh. getting to uh, yeah just getting to talk to them more and letting the audience get to know them more has been really cool so uh, if you haven't seen it yet uh, I would love it if you checked it out let me know what you think maybe we'll do more in the future um, yeah it was fun. And now I can have oh. my Thursday evenings back. <laughs> Watch, now go. somebody's gonna take your slot. I, it's actually it's already, it's already come up. It's already come up. It's fine. It's fine. I, I love all. I love it all. It's fine. Um, but then, um, what's the next important date? Which is what we've been talking about. Recorded by Arizal. Ah. Comes yeah, out. Recorded by Arizal. <laughs> recorded by Arizal. Coming out. Um, <laughs> recorded by Arizal comes July thirteenth. Uh, that is. By the time this airs, next Monday Whoa. for first Ooh. members and July 20th, if you would like to catch it uh, for free on the site and also for uh, YouTube. So Whoa, that's become so the long. first member. It's, <laughs> it's almost like it'd be member. super awesome if you just became a first member to, to check oh. it out. Because oh. you get s- discounts and f- content and stuff. And you support us. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Um, but, uh josh josh are we josh is also on rvb (laughs) (laughs) that's true rvb zero uh or rvb season 18 um kind of like xbox titling over there (laughs) (laughs) here's a zero here's an eight if i had if i had another (laughs) finger but it's like whoa Whoa. (laughs) Whoa. did i just spoil like the opening title sequence (laughs) it's like yeah yeah we'll have to scrap it yeah it's fine it's fine we'll make a new one no bad title sequence no no bad (laughs) no bad bad titles josh is just a fountain of positivity (laughs) we love it we love to see it (laughs) um is there anything else you'd want to uh uh shill about for rvb josh I don't, I don't know. It's, 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 it's looking awesome so far. Uh, we are almost through recording all of the uh, voice actors for it, and that has been just a total blast. Um, they are incredible, and we've been like Yay. building the characters in the booth, and it's been very fun. We never really stopped to consider that if you write a show with eight-plus characters, then you have to spend a lot of time in the booth. <laughs> so that's what we've been doing, but it's been really 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 fun and i think people are gonna they're gonna, they're gonna love it i am yeah. very aware of that <laughs> i was about to say <laughs> eight characters try like 80 yeah <laughs> it's okay Carrie. we love to see it i'd love to see it yeah <laughs> but it's for a good reason because the show's gonna be great i'm really excited for rb and i think there's yeah. gonna be more info uh i know we tweeted about it uh we're having a, a san diego comic-con panel um yeah. where we talk about Ruby and recorded by Arizal and uh, RVB. and RVB and maybe some other stuff. Mm-hmm. <gasps> what is Comic Con? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> did you say what is Comic Con or no, when, when is Comic Con? Okay, because that's very different. Uh, what is uh, Comic Con? Uh, <laughs> what is uh, it? At the end of the month. Nice. Yes. I don't. Yeah. It's true. Remember. That's okay. It's a ballpark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. I'm excited to yeah, hit and... the beaches of San Diego. <laughs> we have um, some cl- exclusive clips as well in there. Yeah. So honestly, and, just, just going to throw it 
Torian is talking about RBB Zero for for that as well, and he is a loose yes. cannon. He might just spill every bean there is. Oh, you no. never know. <laughs> we never know. My beans. Every all of them. My beans. You heard it here. Every <laughs> single bean <laughs> will be spilled. <laughs> They say, don't cry over spilled milk, but what do you do about spilled beans? Spilled beans. beans. <laughs> this well, summer. I really like this one, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. Um, RVB zero, colon, beans. beans. That's all I got. Oh, <laughs> nice. RV beans. Oh. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, amazing. I think I have to end it. Like that, that's our that's, peak. That's, that's our peak. Edible. That's, <laughs> that's our peak, guys. That's 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 Let how we have to top. go out. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's top um, bean. Top bean. <laughs> top bean. <laughs> thank you, as usual, Carrie. Uh, thank you, Aaron, and thank you, Josh, for uh, being here on the show. Yeah. It was wonderful Always to fun. hang out with you guys. Yeah. Thank um, you. And thank you to the audience for tuning in. If you haven't already. Please like and subscribe to I Have Notes. If you have any notes for us, comment. Please. Make sure you get, leave us a note, even if it's a love note. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> spicy. Leave us a love note and we will read it next week. Yes! Oh. Yeah. Oh, Aaron with the good ideas over here. Oh, I'm on fire tonight, or if, guys. If you, have been, uh, Put out. if you have any ideas for things we could talk about, just uh, tweet at us or use the hashtag I Have Notes. Mm. I'll have to search that hashtag now. <laughs> Karina has now committed. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll come up with a fun one every week. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah.